we had uh, already planted 55 backyard gardens for low-income people on the condition they give 30 percent of the food back to the food banks and there's always too much food in the garden to, so people love to share it and then we got into higher production we now have 26 acres in four different places around Pinell County where we're doing high production food because there's just not enough to fill the veterans uh, uh, pantries and the food banks and all the places that we deliver to we need more food Pinell County kind of noticed what we were doing and they asked me to submit an idea and so I suggested a series of classes. There are five different classes that the Pinell County supervisors have given us a small contract to teach around the county. One of them is how to build a vegetable garden from scratch. Get on your hands and knees and do it. Learn it by putting your hands in the dirt. So that's what we're doing here today and I was so grateful that Chef Gabe was willing to do it outside of the culinary school because the extension of the education to the students and cooking with it and how to taste fresh food first of all convinces people that this ugly brown dirt can grow fantastic food. I mean beautiful vegetables. There's so much of them. And uh, we're putting this garden today um, so that we can utilize the vegetables uh, within the culinary arts program so that Students can get exposed to new and interesting ingredients. Probably 30 tomato plants out there, um, all sorts of chilies. Uh, we've got celery and cantaloupes and watermelons. I have overplanted this garden because I want them to experiment with, there's probably 75 different varieties in that garden. But it's an eight row garden, it's pretty big. The Armenian cukes will climb all the way over this fence and halfway across that road. And they are prolific. They make gigantic cucumbers that you don't have to peel. So they're ready to eat right away. And they're crowd pleasers. I mean, our function, we never forget that our purpose is to feed the hungry. And this can feed several kids. Just off of one cucumber, they're big. These are all flower seeds. We put them on the end caps to not only make the garden beautiful, but to attract the bees. Because this is way out here in the country, this campus. And you need more bees to make sure you get proper um, pollination on all these foods. Uh, how to plant a vegetable garden from scratch is only a portion of what we're able to do with the wonderful funding from Pinell County. We're also going to teach how to cook with unusual garden vegetables. And then we have a series on how to set up a nonprofit foundation. I've asked, had so many people say, I want to solve my own problems in Maricopa. Don't just come do it for us. Teach us how to have our own nonprofit and let me be a mini me of what you're doing. We do four other things in our foundation. We, we deal with low income housing and many, many other things. But I think this garden and food production is our favorite. It's a passion of ours. So.